progress. So the purpose of this video is to um, give you the instructions to install the widgets inside the home. And I will also just describe briefly what also has to occur to make this happen. Now these are all the components that came with the screen logic. The widgets are any contraptions such as these that are installed the ho inside the home. The outside the home by the electrician, he would have also installed the antenna and the motherboard that goes inside the antenna that sends wireless signals to the other clamshell antenna that goes inside the home. So we're going to focus on, first of all, a process of elimination. We're going to look at this picture and we're going to show, I'm going to show you what you would not be using to install the widgets inside the home. This is a low voltage cable that was um, connected in with the antenna and the motherboard outside. So already there are three parts that would be eliminated. That leaves us with the protocol adapter with the connections between the co protocol adapter and the clamshell and a couple of um, cables that you need to use. So let's just go into what you should assemble first. You should actually assemble the two objects here, that is the protocol adapter and also the clamshell antenna. So just a moment. Recording in progress. So in the protocol adapter, it has a plug which protects the connections on the side. This plug here, which is a green, just an empty plug to protect the connections needs to be removed. In replacement of this, you will use one of the two sides of this connector cable that will go inside and it only goes one way to connect the po protocol adapter to the actual clam shell antenna. The other side of this adapter goes into the clamshell antenna and this black electricity uh, cord goes into, I believe from memory, either it's going to go into the protocol adapter and it goes into the actual um, power outlet. From the protocol adapter, one of these CAT5s goes into the protocol adapter and the second goes into the actual modem. So there has to be one available CAT5 female in which this will be plugged into. Now let's go to um, see something else here. Let me take a look here and see what, what screen are we on. Take a look. Are we on screen three? Okay, that's very good. Now let's take a look at this video and um, let's take a close up look of what's going on here. So there's, for example, you can see that these two uh, units are plugged into each other. This is plugged into the adapter and then hopefully she'll zoom out a little bit here. Okay. And on the side of the protocol adapter, you need to take a photograph of the actual characters and the code. And that's the code that the homeowner will use. You can see here, Pentair code to the side. This eight, I believe six digit code, this is what we're going to use to use in the phone app. So you need to take a photo of that and give it to the homeowner. There are no passwords used. We don't want to be using any passwords. Uh, when when signing on. So this is what you're going to use to sign on to the system. So you can see that this is going to be plugged into the antenna, the clamshell antenna, and then it plugs into this box here. What I don't see here is I don't see the black cable um, plugged into any of these. So there's a little bit of a um, fault there in that particular system. But remember that that has to be plugged in and I believe it goes into the protocol adapter to give this power. Um, the clamshell antenna which plugs into the adapter is self-sufficient. It's a wireless um, unit. So once you get the um, number off the box, then the next thing you need to do is go out to the pull pump and make sure you go through the settings to make sure that the pump is actually um, external controlled to the control panel. So that means it's going to take the system off the um, pump computer and put it on the computer panel at the pool equipment. 
So that's it. Um, plug everything in, turn things on, make sure that when you look at the side of the protocol um, adapter, it's got a red light. A red solid light will mean that the unit is on. And then this gets to have several flashing lights, green lights, not orange. But once you get to see the green lights in these three areas, it means it is all connected OK. Um, the way to test it is to uh, test via getting online with the actual programming. So that's it. That's the uh, conclusion to install the widgets for the screen logic.